In this video, we're going to learn how to clear the standard input buffer in C. So the need to clear the input buffer often comes up when accepting string input after accepting some kind of other input, like for example, the input of an integer value. Let's create an example of that sort of situation. We'll ask the user to enter in an age and their name. We'll declare an int variable age to store their age, and we'll declare a car array name to store their name. Then we'll use printf to prompt the user to enter their age. Then we'll use scanf to store the age that's entered into the age variable. Then next, we'll prompt the user to enter in their name. We'll have printf, enter, name colon. And then to store the name that the user enters into the name car array, we're going to use fgets. We'll have here fgets, name, 1024, and stdin. And this call to fgets is going to read characters from standard input, in other words, the terminal or the shell by default, and it's going to store those characters into the name car array. It's going to stop once it encounters the first new line character, which is what occurs when the user hits enter. It's going to store up to 1024 characters into that car array, including the special null terminator character that ends a string. We could then output the age and name that were entered by the user. Here we could have printf age colon percent d backslash n and we'll output the age and then printf name colon percent s backslash n and we'll output the name. So let's try this program out. We'll save, compile, and run the program. And for the age, we'll enter in 65. And then look at this. It didn't actually pause to allow us to enter the name. It looks like it skipped over that call to fgets, but that's not what actually happened. The call to fgets did occur and the function did execute correctly. And what's happening here is that when we entered in 65, on the standard input buffer, we had 65 and then backslash n for the new line character after we hit enter. Now, when the scanf function reads the integer from the standard input buffer, it's going to read these two characters, but that new line character from when we hit enter remains on the input buffer. Now the fgets function is going to stop once it encounters the first new line character from the standard input buffer. And all that's on the standard input buffer is that new line character. So fgets reads it and immediately stops without allowing the user to enter any new input storing the string made up of that new line character into the name character array. If we were to call getCar before calling fgets, we could rip this character off the standard input buffer. So here, before calling fgets, we're going to call getCar, which is going to pull a character from that standard input buffer. Let's try this. If we save, compile, and run the program, I can enter in age 65, and then for name, Sophie Wilson, and the program does pause for us to enter the name. And we get age 65 and name Sophie Wilson. So what's happened here is that this time getCar pulled this new line character off of the standard input buffer, and then f gets paused for input because there was no new line on the buffer. The first new line occurred when the user entered in the string Sophie Wilson and hit enter. Now this isn't really a total solution to the problem. So for example, let's run the program again. This time I'll enter in 65 and then space, 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 and then I'll hit enter. And look at this, the problem is back. So this time we had 65 and then space, 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 and then new line on the standard input buffer. And scanf pulled off 65 and then get car pulled off one of those spaces, but we still have space, space, and then new line. So that's actually the string that fgets will store into the name car array. We need to pull off all the characters up to and including the first new line character in order to clear the standard input buffer. Now there's a couple ways we can do this. There is a way that's somewhat popular, but it's not really supported by standard C. So we can use a function called fflush. We can say fflush 
and then stdin. So fflush is actually intended for flushing output buffers, but many compilers will support using it for flushing the standard input buffer, even though it's not part of standard C. So if we save, compile, and run the program, and I enter in 65, space, 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 and then hit enter for the age, and then enter in Sophie Wilson for the name, it's going to work. So fflush actually cleared the entire standard input buffer. So we had 65 and then space, 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 and scanf pulled off 65, and then fflush flushed the entire input buffer. Now the only problem with fflush is that it's not going to be completely portable because it's not part of standard C. If we try to compile this program using a compiler that does not support using fflush in this way, it's not going to work. If we wanted to make our code more portable, we could manually pull off all the characters on standard input until we encounter the first new line character. So we could have here int c, and then we'll call get car continually until we encounter the first new line character. So we'll have here while c when assign the value return from get car doesn't equal the new line character. And then we'll have an empty loop body. So here we're continually calling get car, which is going to return the next character from standard input, and we assign that to C. This expression is going to evaluate to the value of C. That's how the assignment operator works in C. We'll compare that to the new line character. And so long as it's not the new line character, we're going to continue. Eventually, when we encounter the first new line character, it's going to stop. Let's try this. If we save, compile, and run the program, I could enter in 65, space, 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 and hit enter, and the program does pause. I could put in Sophie Wilson, and everything works okay. Now it's possible for standard input to be redirected such that it comes from a file instead of the terminal. In this case, we can improve this code by also checking for C not being equal to EOF because get car will return EOF if we reach the end of the file or if there's an error while reading from the file. And checking to see that C doesn't equal EOF will prevent an infinite loop in those cases. So this is how we can clear the standard input buffer in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.